crashing down So forgive me how I'm acting now Ain't no love no more Heart froze for sure Gotta make a move on it Adam. So yeah, what he said was, well, you know, maybe if I could just buy him a pint of cold lean, you know, come on here and get him my head. <laughs> oh, so you interview. thought I was gonna K roll you? Uh, I, well, because I was it, going to. That was definitely the plan. What I'm saying, I love you. Come on here and act like you're not a lean head. Well, I'm telling you, you got more money than that. I'm not a dope. I'm sure you got more money than him. Tell that nigga. Hold on, listen. The money that Adam had to make to use a black man's pussy to get his pussy wet. Tell that nigga. 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 Tell that nigga.
ramp run through your life, nigga. I done made 14, 15 times that same money that you made. I made that 14, 15 times myself on OnlyFans. And I was like, bruh, and this nigga fucking Adam Twitch you talking about, I got videos of you. This, these are his words. He says, I got videos of you in my phone of you fucking bitches. And I'm like, bro, and he was like, what? So I was like, whoa, pause, no diddy. He's like, what the fuck? Like, bro, that shit took a weird ass left turn when I heard that part. I said, bro, Adam 20, I mean, Sauce Walker pulling up on Adam 22, my bad, y'all. Sauce Walker pulling up on Adam 22 and no jumper, you know, addressing some shit was not on my 2024 bingo card. Like, that shit was completely completely left turn that was just out of the ordinary that was one of the most random pull-ups most random cameos i've ever seen on no jumper in its entire history from the foundation i've never seen nobody pulled up in a weird fashion like that just random out of the blue I'm like holy fuck this nigga sauce why we just walked it up on adam 22 whack 100 and no jumper that shit is crazy so, and you know what the funny what's even funnier is that that nigga at uh whack 100 was on sauce walker side saying he basically just shit on you get that nigga he was hyper sauce walker because you know sauce walker and adam 22 are both bloods they're both powers you know what i'm saying so they both got that connection with one another and it's it's crazy how I, Whack 100 was on Sauce Walker's side Be like you tell that nigga You tell that nigga because this is weird Dynamic I don't give a fuck what nobody say It's a weird little dynamic between Adam 22 And Whack 100 when they do they show Together Whack 100 has his Views and then Adam 22 Has his which are in opposition And then sometimes you know the heads clash You know a lot of times fuck it I'll say it. A lot of times the heads clash And shit goes left between the two But of course I know what it's for It is for content is for going viral it is to be trending it is for all of those reasons there's no other reason why shit goes crazy the way it does on Adam 22 when out of the when you know like out of pocket shit be happening like niggas uh getting into heated debates and arguments niggas throwing hands on each other on no jumper Niggas getting choked out, which I probably will do later, cause y'all heard what happened to Brick Baby. That shit, that, that's tough, my nigga. <laughs> that's tough. Like niggas is clowning that nigga. Like it's. I'm not saying he can't make no money on no jumper, but bro, after seeing that, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's over. It's over. It's over. You in 4K? Can't deny nothing. It's on video, bro. But yeah, that's tough, my nigga. Ooh, yeah, but. You know, Sauce Walk, if y'all know anything about dude, bro is an extremely prideful individual in regards to the state of Texas, the city of Houston, the culture of Houston, and the culture of Texas, and their place in hip-hop. He feels that the world and the entire hip-hop genre outside of Texas steals from Houston. Let's think about it. Nobody was sipping lean. I'm not glorifying drug use at all, but nobody thought Cipolline was cool until they seen dudes in Texas doing it. Until they uh, heard Screwed Up Click and all them. Once they made that shit popular in their songs. Over the years, as chime changes, as the style changes, as the trends change, people from out of state are began to become heavily influenced by the Texas rap scene. Biggest example, ASAP Rocky. Think about it. Purple Swag and a lot of his other songs where you hear like the chopped and screwed deep uh voice in it and all that and just using texas slang and talk about sipping lean in the songs bro that's all texas again not to say drug use is use is cool but where did that come from nobody was talking about that in the music nobody was talking about they was coming down nobody wanted to get crazy grills and jewelry like custom when they made it until texas showed that hey we platinum in our own rights we platinum in the streets we got our own money we can pull up to johnny we can pull up to emmett and get us a crazy ass chain and a crazy ass grill and a crazy ass watch we ain't gotta go out of state for that we get that we got all that right in our own city right in our own state you know what i mean 
But bro, like that was, I was not expecting Sauce Walker to just pull up out of the blue like that. But then again, if y'all follow him on Instagram, he was doing a show out in LA. You know what I'm saying? He's been making a lot of crazy good moves. He's been with Empire. Him and Peso Peso both signed deals to Empire. And now Sauce Walker really is now putting the Sauce Factory, the TSF business, into a position in the music industry to make major moves. And now his artists that are his other artists that are signed to TSF will have a big platform. To get themselves to bigger eyes and a much wider audience, if you know what I'm saying. I feel like this is a good move, man. And people, people be sleep. Walk, bro. Walk. To me, is one of the hip hop's greatest businessmen because when he sees talent, he gonna give them the platform. He gonna give them opportunity. He gonna always be fair with niggas. He gonna show niggas love. You know what I'm saying? He gonna show niggas. He gonna teach niggas the ways of the TSF, how to drip, how to splash, how to how to kick flavor, you know, how to live the sauce lifestyle. Sauce Walker literally has spent his entire career putting sauce, drip, and splash on the map. And all he wants is for niggas to pay homage and show respect to the originators and where it starts. Of not just only him in, in regards to the sauce shit and drip shit, but he wants Texas to be more respected and have uh, people give Texas is flowers for their contributions to the hip hop game because niggas can say oh like biggest example and i don't want to offend nobody but a cali nigga can sit up here and say oh niggas from out of state like texas ain't real because they trying to be like us and uh with the bloods and crips that's out there they banging cali sets but never been to cali and i'm like y'all niggas sip lean they ain't never been to texas Y'all like y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all niggas overdoing it out there. No disrespect. Y'all killing y'all selves off that damn lean. If y'all knew, well, a nigga like me knew about lean, y'all wouldn't touch the shit for real, for real, bro. And but it ain't just that. Like, just be fair. Everybody done took a, a little bit of everything from Texas and then flipped it and then got popular off that shit. But it is what it is. Now I'm talking about the young generation of Cali niggas when I say, boy, them niggas sip lean like crazy. I ain't talking about the OG niggas. I'm talking about the young niggas. They sip lean like fucking, like it's water. They don't give a fuck. I'm like, how the fuck y'all can, but I, be, but I digress. That's for a whole nother video. But yeah, Walt, that was hilarious of him pulling up on Adam 22 and them and just letting it be known. Like, hey, nigga, you tried, you tried to buy me, but that shit ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, extremely funny. You know, Sauce gonna talk his shit no matter what it is, what it is, man. But anyways, man, tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment for more videos. Hit the bell button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, man, thank y'all for tuning to SAG World TV, man. I'm out. Ain't no love.